Now, next, moving down to the cardiac area, and make sure to assess for murmurs, as well as big, huge, clunky pacemakers. The top five lung sounds to write down and know is number one, crackles. Number two, ronchi. Number three, plural friction rub, which I call pebble friction rub because it sounds like two pebbles being grinded together. The strider squeak, which is, <laughs> yes, just like that. Sounds like a squeaky door or a squeaky toy. And number five is wheezes, which we call the wheezy whistle. Now that's common after asthma or asthma attacks. Now the top diagnosis in the lung area is typically COPD. Now patients with COPD, they have a lot of air trapping. So they're gonna have a huge barrel chest. Another thing you might find with trauma patients is a flail chest, where you basically have a rib fracture that protrudes out when the patient's breathing. Now, hemothorax and pneumothorax. For hemothorax, blood might fill up this lung space, so we'll hear diminished lung sounds, as well as dull resonance upon percussion when we tap it. Now, for pneumothorax, you have air inside the lung space. You'll hear diminished lung sounds, and you have hyper percussion. So it's almost like you're tapping on an empty paint can or a hollow tree. Inside the pneumothorax, it's just gonna fill it up like a big huge drum. All right guys, that wraps it up for the top most frequent things you'll find on a head to toe assessment. Hopefully this video was helpful. Thanks Kat. Thank you.